Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex Comic Corner. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. This video is a look at the great comic book covers that are coming out November 13th, 2019. Please make sure that you hit the subscription button and also hit that bell to be the first to be notified of videos just like this. And also hit that thumbs up button for it really helps out this channel. I'm really excited to see the great covers dropping this week. So let's get started. Make sure that you go to 789comics.com to check out some of the hottest variants by some of the best artists in the game today. And make sure to use the discount code 9.2CREW, all one word, to save 10% on your next order. These are all comic books that are coming out this week, and I thought that while I'm looking at these books to see what I want to pick up while I'm at the comic shop, I don't want to be surprised. I want to know exactly what I'm looking for. I thought I'd share that with you guys, and maybe this will become a recurring thing. The first book on the list is Black Hammer Justice League Hammer of Justice number 5. It's a really great Terry Dotson cover, cover E, and the cover price is $3.99. Batman's Grave number 2 has a cover B variant by Jae Hyung Lee, and the cover price is also $3.99. Catwoman 17 has an A cover by David Finch, but the one that I'm really intrigued about is the B cover by Alberto Veranda. I really need to see this thing in person to see if I want to pick it up but from the previews and what I've seen so far, it looks great. Detective Comics 1015 has a really great B cover by Kenneth Rockford. Me personally, I probably won't pick this up. I'll probably pass on it, but just wanted to make a note that it is a very nice looking uh, B cover. The next book may have a first appearance, so make note, it's Far Sector number one, cover and art by Jamal Campbell. There's also a few variants to this book as well. The new character is a Green Lantern character named Sojourner Joe Mullion have no idea how to pronounce it. Joe Molian, Mol Moline, but it's a new Green Lantern character. It's a maxi series, so it's gonna be more than probably six issues, and it is a $3.99 cover price. So definitely check out the potential of a brand new character for the DC Universe. Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy number three have another guest artist. This is David Finch doing the Harley Quinn and the Poison Ivy variant. Issue number one had Art Germ, and issue number two had Warren Lau. Really like those. This would be a nice way to collect um, that set is to buy both covers for each issue. Definitely don't think I'm going to rush out to get these ones. If I find them on the cheap, probably pick them up. But I'm not as excited as I was about number one or number two as I am this issue. I'm definitely interested to check out Justice League Odyssey number 15's variant cover by Lucio Perillo. Check this thing out. It is really amazing artwork. I don't know much about this book. It's R-W-B-Y or Ruby number two. It's a great cover by Stanley Art Jim Lau. This week, Superman number 17 has a great Adam Hughes B cover. It's a throwback to one of the early Wonder Woman covers pre-New 52 when Adam Hughes did that run. Wonder Woman's Jenny Frizen B covers are always eye-catching. This is Wonder Woman number 82 B cover by Jenny Frizen. The Death Defying Devil number three by Dynamite Entertainment has some really great covers. The A cover by In Hugh Lee and the B cover by Lucio Perillo. You can't go wrong with either one of these. They are beautiful. I would definitely check them out if you see them. Black Cat Annual number one has an awesome J. Scott Campbell cover. It's a regular cover for A with the trade dress, and then you've got the incentive, which I think it might be a one in 100 or one in 150, which is a virgin variant. Definitely check these books out. I'm gonna get the A cover for my personal collection, and then if I see, the Virgin variant, I'll definitely try to pick it up. Fallen Angels number one has a lot of covers to choose from. A lot of great options out there. I think the one I would look for is the Gabriel Del Auto. It's an incentive variant. I think it may be a one in 50 cover F and also go to 789comics.com to get the Shannon Mayer variant. The trade dress has a limit of 3000 and the Virgin variant has a limit of 750 copies. The trade dress is about $16 US, and the Virgin variant is about $38. Great books, definitely check them out at 789comics.com. De definitely make sure you use that discount code though too. Marvel Tales Doctor Strange number one has an awesome A cover. It's the Standard by In Lee. It's a $7.99 cover price. There's also the B variant, which is the Virgin variant of the same cover. Absolutely both look fantastic. I can't believe I'll actually be talking about this, but Unbeatable Squirrel Girl number 50 has a great B cover by an artist named Raza. Now I'm not quite sure what this artist has done in the past or who they are, but I'll definitely be making a mental note for the future to see if there's anything else that this artist does. Also, I wanna see this book in person to see if it's something that I'd pick up. There is a variant on 789comics.com for X-Men 2. It's once again a Shannon Mayer variant. 
I definitely suggest picking this up. The trade dress has a print run of 3,000 worldwide. Virgin variant has a print run of 600 worldwide. On 789comics.com, you can get the trade dress variant for right over $15, and you can get the Virgin variant and trade dress for just over $50, and those prices are before the 10% discount. And the last book on the list is by Ablaze Comics. It's the same artist that did the Unnatural series and some work on DC Bombshells. It's Mirko Adolfo and it's Unsacred Number One. This virgin variant is limited to 500 copies. It can be found on 789.com website. There's other copies and there's other covers available at your local LCS or on other online retailers. And that's it, you guys. Those are all the books I kind of singled out for the new comic book day on November 13th, 2019. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully this helps you as you're searching for books that you want for your personal collection. I'm really wanting to focus on the covers and I kinda wanna narrow it down to maybe the top 10 or top 15 best of the week that I'll be looking for or that I think are spectacular. So hopefully this helped. If you haven't already, hit that subscription button, hit that thumbs up and leave a comment down below which book you are looking for or which one I forgot and I'll definitely make sure to pin that at the top of the comment section. If you haven't already checked out this other video, please take some time to check it out and I'll talk to you all on the next one. See ya. Bye.